so I made a video recently called My World of Warcraft Story, and people, they really seem to like it. So today, before I get my last 2,000 steps on the Fitbit, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about the time that I got my first mount in World of Warcraft. Now, I know some of you guys might be thinking to yourselves, you know, who cares? You know, it's getting a mount, but my story is pretty unique, and some of you guys know it already from my Q&As and from watching me on Twitch, but a lot of you don't know it. So get ready for the biggest coincidence you have ever heard in a long-ass time. All right, here we go. Twas on a rainy day when I hit level 40 in World of Warcraft Vanilla. And as you know, in World of Warcraft Vanilla, it costs a shit ton of money to buy a mount at level 40. Now, I had no fucking money at level 40. I, I think it was, how much was it? It was, a, it was 100 gold for a mount, 100 gold. I hit level 40 with probably, it's been years, man, but probably around 12 to 15 gold. I was poor and there was no way I was buying that mount. And so, I did the most reasonable, mature, and just overall good-natured thing to do in the game. I went and complained on trade chat. I was a mage, so I portaled my ass to Orgrimmar, went on the trade chat, and I said, Man, why is it so hard to make gold in this game? This sucks! And immediately, I was responded to by the loving and caring WoW community with comments such as, LOL, it's really easy to make money in this game, you fucking moron. And things like, kill yourself. And things like, no one cares, you dumbass. And stuff like that. Needless to say, it made me feel very warm and comforted. But then, suddenly, a majestic stallion, a unicorn straight out of a fairy tale, descended from the heavens, carrying with it a golden mantle that was... I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say here, but the point is, somebody whispered me, and his name was Granak One-Eye. Granak One-Eye. Alright, and Granak One-Eye said to me, he said, hey little mage, little guy, you know, if you need some money, I can loan you some gold, but you gotta agree to pay me back at some point. The guy clearly was very trusting of strangers, and trusting me at that time was a very bad idea, but I naturally told him, yeah, 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 give, give me the gold, I'll pay you back, I swear I'll pay you back. So he invited me to a group, and he too was in Orgrimmar, that beautiful, beautiful man. And we met up, and he gave me all the gold that I needed, plus a little bit more to get by on, so that I could get my mount and get my class abilities and all that stuff. So, that was very nice of him. Naturally, I ran my ass back to Brill, because I was an undead, you know. Glorious Master Race Forsaken. That's right. And I ran my ass back to Brill, and I got my mount, and it was just awesome. Riding on that mount, moving at 60% speed. I mean, it was just dope. I mean, it was boss. I loved it. You know, I told him thank you. I said, thank you, Grand Act One. I thank you. I added him to my friends list. He told me, don't forget to pay me back, okay? And I was like, don't worry. I'll pay you back as soon as I make the money at a higher level. He was like, all right, man. And he added me to his friends list. Now, over the next couple of days, me and Granak One I talked a little bit more, and we would talk about, you know, uh, things that we were interested in, and, you know, just kind of who we were. And eventually, we got into this conversation of, how did you get into World of Warcraft? And I told him about my friend Ben, who played WoW, and how he let me play it on his computer. If you guys heard my World of Warcraft story, you know who Ben is. I told him about Ben. And I, I told him that, hey, Ben played this undead warlock named Zombie, but with an X instead of a Z. And he said, Zombie? You mean Ben? Like, Ben so-and-so? Like, Ben is in, he goes to this university? And I was like, uh, yeah, that, that, that Ben. And he's like, oh, dude, I'm like one of Ben's friends in real life. My name's so-and-so. Like, dude, I, I had no idea you actually knew him. Apparently Ben knew the guy in real life. I had no idea. So 
Me and Granak one I instantly hit it off. We're hanging out more. I'm leveling up. He's a max level character already. He's raiding and whatnot, so I'm looking up to him. And it was just great. Hanging out with Granak one I. It was me, Ben, Granak, and a bunch of other people. And it was awesome. Talk about a pretty crazy and pretty awesome coincidence. I mean, we like instantly became friends. And uh, online anyway. I never actually met Granak one I in person. Never did. Until years later. Years and years later. About two years ago, I think it was. Maybe three. Two, no, probably, yeah, probably about three years ago. I was with Ben, and we had just gone somewhere, and Ben wanted to stop by Starbucks on the way home. And apparently, he wanted to stop there because he wanted to get a coffee, but also because he wanted to give his old copy of Star Wars Galaxies to his friend that was there. And he was saying, yeah, my friend so-and-so is there, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, you know, whatever, okay, you know, we're riding in his car. And he tells me, yeah, you actually know him. I was like, I, I know him? What are you talking about? He says, yeah, it's, it's Granak One-Eye. Remember Granak One-Eye? Talk about a mind blow. Like, the Granak One-Eye? Like, the guy I used to play with, like, back in Vanilla WoW and, like, Burning Crusade and shit? That Granak One-Eye is at Starbucks? We're gonna meet him? I've never met him before. Haven't talked to him in years, because he quit World of Warcraft in early Wrath of the Lich King. I haven't talked to him in so long. Holy shit, I'm so excited. And there he was. We pull up to Starbucks, and he's standing outside. Lanky looking motherfucker. You know, apparently he had just gotten back from China or something. So we walk up to him, and he says hey to Ben. And then Ben says, hey, yeah, uh, this is my friend Nixium. And I say, dude, Granak One Eye, it's been so long since I've talked to you. Looks at me kind of weird, like, you know, like what? And I say, dude, it's it's me. Remember, I'm like the uh, I'm the the undead mage that you gave the gold to, so that I could get the mount. We used to talk all the time. And he's like, oh, he's like, yeah, I do remember you. He's like, oh my gosh, it's been years. It's been, and then he just cuts off. He just cuts off, and it just clicks in his head. And he says, wait a second, y you're the guy that never paid me back. I gave you all that money, and you never paid me back. And I was like, yeah, dude, that was me, man. That was me. Oh man, we just had a great time. He was so angry. <laughs> Not really, but we just had a great time. We talked, we talked about World of Warcraft. We talked about Star Wars Galaxies. We talked about, I think it was during the holiday season. So we were talking about the holidays and I got to meet Granak One Eye, the guy who I totally stole a shit ton of money from and I never paid him back. And to this day, I've never paid him back. Shit was cash. And by cash, I mean it wasn't cash. To my understanding, Granak One Eye, he went back to China or something because he works over there, moving between China and the United States. So I'm pretty sure he's overseas right now. He's going to be over there for a couple of years. I don't know. You know, most people, when they tell the story of how they got their first mount, they usually will say, you know, if they played back in the day, they'll say, yeah, I, I farmed for a long time. I trolled the auction house and I got a shit ton of money and I was able to get it. But me, I can say that I somehow through some twist of fate somehow ran into my friend's good friend and we became friends and you know we we parted ways during wrath of the lich king but i met him years and years later and it was really cool hanging out with him it was kind of like the the three dudes you know we were all together again at starbucks for just one afternoon and it was nostalgic it was cool and uh it's, it's probably, it, it is, it is probably my favorite World of Warcraft story or experience that I've ever had, or at least it's up there. It's definitely up there. So I just felt like sharing that little story with you guys today because I think it's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, I have tons of stories from my World of Warcraft experience. Some of them are funny, some of them are serious, some of them are just weird and the next one is going to be very weird <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that it's gonna be weird it scared me as a kid and I think you guys are gonna like it and maybe down the road if I if I run out of stories to tell and if you guys enjoy this little short storytelling kind of series type video whatever maybe I'll take some submissions from the audience and I'll read your stories 
and I'll try to, I'll make sure to keep you anonymous. I'll create like a submission email or something like that. I don't know, but that's for down the road. Guys, thank you for watching. What was your experience like getting your first mount? And when did you get it? Did you get it back in the day or maybe, you know, like last week? Because if you got it last week, that's not very impressive. But if you got it back in the day, that's kind of impressive. Because that, you know, shit, that shit costs a lot of gold. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I have more stories that I'm going to be bringing you all very soon. Alright? Alright. Fuck, I missed. Bitches and hoes are like new clothes. Once you got them, wish you never bought them. Alright, I'll see ya.